Hello guys, um, we will be talking about back-to-back -back stem and leaf diagrams and it's just going to be a brief one just to show you a little bit of misconception that comes up when it's back-to-back uh, -back stem and leaf. The first one we'll be doing will be D, just to save time, as it's got less numbers. Um, Billy recorded the hours 16 of his friends spent revising for their GCXC exams. And on this part, we have Mark recorded the hours 16 of his friends spent revising for their GCSE exams. So when we make a back to back stem and leaf diagram, we want Billy on this side and we want Mark on that side. Now, if you look at the numbers here, the minimum we have on this side is 111 and the minimum we have on this side is 101 okay so in getting our stem we could make the first two numbers to be our stem and the last digit to be our leaves okay so you make an unordered form of this first then you can rearrange to make an ordered um, stem and leaf diagram so I have done the uh, ordered part so this is what you should get just gonna make that go up a bit so you can see it. so for Billy you should have these numbers on this side and for Mark yeah, you should not, not, this okay. part on this side now the key is very important because if you look at the key on this side you read this one four and the slash three as 143 and here you see we're reading from the stem out there so this one will be 146 because you always read from the stem down to the leaf read from the stem down to the leaf now this one I am going to show you is very very important this is the decimal stem and leaf diagram in this case is the decimal back-to-back -back stem and leaf because we are comparing the heights of the boys uh, to the girls heights now if you were to do it the way we just done the D, you might be tempted to do something like this. I'm going to show you. So looking at that, you might be tempted to say, oh, well, I'm just going to split that into uh, something like this. You might be tempted to say this is one and this is going to be read as 1.18. In this case, this is wrong because... You only have, let's go back to the data we have. We only have one point something, one point something. You can clearly see one point something. We don't have anything that says like two point something or three point something. So because it's just one point, one point, one point, what you should be having is something like this. Okay, so you're going to split your stem and leaf into something like this. So you have your 1.18 to be the minimum number on the girl's side and you have your 1.24 to be the minimum number on the boy's side. So if we come to the data here, for the boy's side, 1.24 is the minimum and for the girl's side, 1.18 is the minimum. So you want to split it like this because you have that first digit there to all to be all ones if you have different numbers like one point something two point something three point something then you want your stem to just be one two three without the decimal point but if it's just one point something one point something one point something you want your stem to have the decimal with it Okay, but if you have different types of um, first digits before the decimal, something like 1.1, 2.3, 3.4, and all that, then your stem will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So I hope that's very important. Don't forget your key as well. You read from the stem outside there to the leaf. You read from the stem outside there to the leaf. I hope that clarifies decimal um, stem to st uh, stem and leave diagram for you. Bye bye. Hi, my name is Mary Rotemi.
I am a maths teacher with over a decade of experience teaching maths in the UK. My mission is to make students to have a confidence boost in maths in order to pass their GCSE maths exams. Now, most people do have the misconception that maths is irrelevant. But the truth is, if you're in the UK, for example, and you don't have a pass grade in maths, you will need to keep studying maths until age 18. Do you want to do that? Do you want to keep studying maths until age 18? Of course, no. So now is the time to sign up for an online tutoring session with me that will help you to have that confidence boost that you need to pass your exams. Of course, I've got free resources for you as well. If you need to help yourself on your self-paced learning, go to the teacher, uh, Mass Teacher Bytes channel on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram as well. And the handle is Mass Teacher Bytes. We are on Twitter. We are on TikTok. All handles are Mass Teacher Bytes. Join me for that tutoring session so that you can pass your GCSE maths with ease. Now, if you're receiving your exams in November, now is the time to start getting ready for that confidence boost that will give you that your pass grade that you so, so need. There are a lot of career opportunities open for you if you make your maths exams, if you pass your maths exams. Looking forward to you joining me. In those maths. If you're asked how many millimeters make one meter, you go from your millimeter here to one meter. So how many zeros do you have to go from? One, two, three. So a thousand millimeters would make one meter. The second question says how many centimeters make one kilometer? So how many zeros do I have to go from centimeters to get to one kilometer? It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, five zeros. So that's hundred thousand centimeters will give me one kilometer. So that's how to work it out. Let's do this. The polygon is a tuna ship, a close ship with straight sides. The polygon is a tuna ship, a close ship with straight sides. Make a one centimeter. Hundred centimeters make one meter. A thousand meters make one kilometer. Now this could be milligrams and centigram or milliliters and centimeters. It all depends on the units of measurement you are dealing with. But the same story is what you use for the whole thing. Ten milligrams make one centigram. Hundred centigram make one gram. A thousand grams make one kilogram. You can do the same for your liters as well. So it's the same thing. If you're at Thank you. Click the link below for that session. Bye-bye.